All right, hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. Engineers like praise me. <laughs> All right, hello. Welcome back to a Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. Today's video, I'm gonna be going on a solo hazard five mission with Engineer here, taking the Lock One Smart Rifle as the primary with the voted on overclock and balanced overclock seeker rounds. And for the secondary, I'm gonna be taking the Shard Diffractor with its clean overclock, I don't know the name, efficiency tweaks. Before I get into how I have the guns built, if YouTube is recommending my content to you, or if you just found my channel, just, you know, like, I don't know, like, I've run this joke to the ground. Like the content I make, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, help the channel grow. We're getting really, really close to a thousand subscribers, and I like to have you get more people along for the ride when that happens. All right, so like I said, I have the Lock 1 Smart Rifle here today. How I have it built is in, I have more total ammo in tier 1. I have the lock on degree in tier two. Basically, it lets me lock on at wider ranges. I have super blow through rounds in tier three. I have the uh, faster lock on rate in tier four. And then I have the unstable lock mechanism in tier five. Essentially, how unstable lock mechanism works is once I hit the full lock ons that I can get and let go of the rounds, the I get an extra 20% more damage to all those shots. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> then, like I said, I have the seeker rounds today. Essentially how seeker rounds work is locked on shots will always hit their target and ignore armor no matter what. And you have, um, you maintain locks at a wider angles. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> on the downsides, you have a slower burst rate of fire and you have a longer reload time. Then for the secondary, like I said, I have the shard factor here. How I have built is I have more total ammo in tier one. I have weak point bonus damage in tier two. I have a lot a bigger magazine size in tier three, more heat in tier four, and I have the biomass converter in tier five. Essentially how biomass converter works is the more every single kill I get on the bug, it'll give me a little bit of ammo back. So it'll allow me to shoot the beam for longer periods of time. Then for the clean overclock, I like I said I have the efficiency tweaks. Essentially how it works is yeah just the dust more ammo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. How my sentries built here today is I have the Gemini system, I have quick deploy, stun, and the Hawkeye system, platform, more ammo, and the plaster Cree MK2. For my grenade today, I have the proximity mines, you all revised carnets and electric bullets. Cool. <laughs> oh, I just saw that beer. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to show you guys something. In this, a timer now. Let's. Go. <laughs> Basically, almost an entire month left to go. I wonder how far y'all are in the performance pass. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I know that, um, ooh. I know that, uh, what is it? Got released. Oh, the title, the, 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 the name of the season got released, which that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll do an egg hunt. Well, I kind of want to do the, uh, I'll do this, this area. I wanted to do, um, seeker rounds without any bonuses. Cause last time I had critical weakness, uh, with, with seeker rounds and I was like, I was like, seeker rounds is so good. But then I, I realized, oh, right. I have critical weakness. <laughs> Hold on. I'm drinking water. Hold on. I'm just taking care of the pests. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Yay. I can see everything now. <laughs> this is why I like the Locky though. You can just get rid of everything and you don't have to worry about it. Alright, buddy. Hey, get back here. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Meatball? Oh. <laughs> nice. Nah. Uh, yeah, buddy. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna really enjoy Seeker Rounds a whole lot. Uh, normally see the locky the problem I, I have with the locky is it's just it has barely any ammo at all <laughs> and it makes it really unenjoyable but I get that the whole point behind engineer is that he doesn't really have a whole lot of ammo because he makes it up in both the area damage he can do and he makes it up with his sentries so I get it but at the same time it's like <sighs> Is there a meatball somewhere? I can't see. <laughs> Is the meatball stuck somewhere? Is it okay? Is the meatball okay? 
<laughs> I do enjoy the wider lock on uh, range though. I do enjoy seeing that a lot. That's really nice. Oh, there is a meatball somewhere. I hear it now. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Ow. Hey. Saw that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, get that nitro, please. I'm gonna try to get this nitro too. Our buddy's stuck down here. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Steve. Hello, Steve. I don't want to get rid of Steve's armor. <laughs> yeah, okay. That is actually kind of enjoyable. That is actually really enjoyable, though. The, uh, the fact that it just ignores armor. I do like that factor, actually. Uh, I'm just going to drop that right there. We have kind of a fair fighting area where we can fight stuff in. I'm going to say this, and then just a detonator is going to come out of nowhere and ruin everything. Yeah, get out of my face. <laughs> get out of here, you nerd. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Pop. Pop. <laughs> Let's see here. Pop. And over there. Pop. Where? Where's Lennis? Oh, then it's gone. <laughs> Alright, I have my proximity mines down, so that's all good. <laughs> Bring it on, bugs! <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> It is honestly really nice just being like, okay, all of you, you get damaged now. I do enjoy that factor a lot, actually. Uh, where'd all these swarmers come from? <laughs> I was just so focused on trying to line up my shots that I just wasn't talking. <laughs> Did any of these get set off at all? Wow. Yummy. And... Damn it. <laughs> did this one get set off? I don't think this one did either. Nope, it did. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, it did. Die, you double jointed freaks. Die. <laughs> Die, you double jointed freaks, even though I'm not over there. I think uh, the lock one rifle should have a mode where you switch between um, the lock ons and just fully automatic. Because I, I just don't enjoy always having to do full lock-ons every single time. I feel like there should be a way where you can like change between the modes, like how um, you can with like the lenses on the call at wave cooker. I don't know, that's just me though. There'll be some people out there who are just like, oh no, it's fine. But if there any, if there any, if there's anyone like me, <clears throat> I know for a fact that they only use the explosive chemical rounds. I'm so excited for next season. I'm mainly excited for the the new enemies that we're gonna be fighting. That's gonna be really fun, and I'm also excited for new cosmetics. I want to see what I can do. Matchups to do colors other than gold. Yeah, we also got the new uh, weapon frames released. That was pretty cool. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, no, we also got we also got that released, which that was pretty cool. They all look like. They don't all look like water guns, but some of them definitely do like like a water gun. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm doing something here, y'all. Y'all need to stop. Stop this nonsense. Um, Bosco can drop that one. Go get that one. They, these are the last two that we need. Ah, oh, you dropped it so far. <laughs> Why? No, Bosco, you've forsaken me. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, God. Okay, fine, I get it. You guys are cool. <laughs> or even... Okay, I go over here. I feel like the meatball now. <laughs> no. I wonder what slop the seven on the canteen tonight. <laughs> uh, here, Bosco, you drop that and start fighting. <laughs> I haven't really been using the shard refractor all game. Oh, hello. Bro's fighting my bug. Wait, I wonder if I could just... Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay, that's actually really fun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can straight up just stare 
right? The oppressor and not have to care. Hey, I mean, I guess the, the bullets with super blow through round do just get right to their target no matter what. So uh, my question is, do I even need to add super blow through rounds if the target, if the bullets always get to their targets? I, I don't, I don't know. Did my bug die? Did Steve die? I think Steve died. No, I gotta got a new one. <laughs> no, Steve. Oh, was that the swarm? Okay. <laughs> like, huh, the first time where I'm not like <laughs> still running away from bugs after a swarm. <laughs> I think so too, engineer. Like, holy crap. I know there was some dice. Stream. Yeah, right here. Oh, cool. Got the rest of the dice trim. Oh, huh, huh. well, uh, this is awkward. Okay, <laughs> let's get out of here, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> You're being loud. What do you get, Steve? My Steve now. Yeah. I love how much the shard defector just shreds. You just tear off the armor of the Praetorian with seeker rounds and then just you know, you know, <laughs> that's so much fun. Sometimes <clears throat> I I like wish the reload animation for the shard refractor was him grabbing the shard out and just tossing it in the air a bit, and then he puts it back in. That would be, that was that would be a pretty cool one too. That could also be another idea is like it cycles between like random reload animations when you're when you press the R button. That'd be pretty cool. I just have so much ammo, I just realized. Every single time I have the biomass cover, I just like have way too much ammo for my own good. <laughs> nice. Nice. A lot of kills. <laughs> All right, Tata. Well, the seeker rounds on the lock one rifle are actually really good. I actually do enjoy the fact that I'm able to just shoot almost at any part of the bug and be able to do like massive damage. Especially with the the fifth tier gear modification, I'm wondering though if um, taking the electricity tier five and then taking the the added bonus damage from hot targets and electric targets would be good as well. I, I could try that in another video as well too. But all I could say is like this was a really really fun build for seeker round, and then for the shard defractor with efficiency tweaks. I mean, obviously this is really good. <laughs> oh man. Uh, more ammo on any gun is honestly really, really good to be dishing out more damage over time. And the way I had it built was I was just, I, I just kept get constantly dealing high amounts of damage and being able to get my ammo back because of biomass converter. So it was really, really fun. I had a really good time today. Anyways, I appreciate anyone who stuck to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you didn't subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Rocket Stone, miners.